Hi, my name is Gloria Selene Rodas. I am a student of Master of Science in Management Information System program at College of Business in Florida International University, cohort number 23. The purpose of making this video is to accomplish an assignment requested for the professor Dr. Dota and ISM 6222 Telecommunication Networks. This video has no commercial purposes, it is only educational. Today I'm going to talk about Internet Protocol Television, known as IPTV. First, I'm going to talk about how Internet Protocol Television started, then how IPTV works, some features to deliver IPTV and new technologies in services. When Internet Protocol Television started? In 1994, ABC's World News Now was the first television show to be broadcast over the internet using the CU-CIMI video conferencing software. The term IPTV first appeared in 1995 with the founding of Preset Software. This company designed and built an internet video product named IP TV. What is Internet Protocol Television? As a simple definition, IPTV or IP t television is a process, a method of preparing and distributing television signals over an IP-based data network. Content streams are acquired, demodulated, and decrypted if necessary, then re-encoded digitally for IP transport, possibly with additional compression a new encryption. IPTV signals or streams are distributed on an IP-based network and viewed on an IPTV-capable viewing device, usually a set-top box. Steps to delivering IPTV to the end user. Acquiring the programming. The content that the IPTV company delivers to its end user is owned or managed by some person or some entity in this industry. The entity that owns the rights to the content is called the programmer. Once the IPTV service provider has acquired the rights to collect and redistribute this material, then the IPTV service provider has to build a head-end facility to process this content for distribution to the end user. Encoding the streams or content. This digital output from the various receivers will be injected into an encoding device to be assigned a multicast IP address. In a standard definition environment, these streams can be encoded in MPEG-2 format or in MPEG-4 format. The third step of delivering IPTV is the distribution network. Building an IP distribution network can be a time with mixing and matching of many current technologies. The most prevalent types of networks for IPTV distribution are fiber to the home, Ethernet passive optical networks, or hybrid network using fiber optic distribution throughout a metro area coupled with a digital subscriber line, technology for the last mile transport. The typical DSL types that have been used for IPTV are the BDSL or ADSL2. Although these high capacity DSL technologies at first glance seem to be ide ideal to deliver this new technology. Fourth step of delivering IPTV is the middleware. The middleware is the glue that holds the IPTV service provider together. Without the middleware, the IPTV service provider has a lot of expensive but useless equipment. Until this point, we have identified the content as streams, not channels. Without middleware, there are no channels, just streams. Middleware manages input and output to or from several databases generates the presentation to the TV viewer in the form of the electronic program guide, facilitates navigation in the APG and, of course, channel surfing. 
The last but not least is the IPTV viewing device. The viewing device or set-top box is the adapter which connects to the user's television. It is similar in appearance to the set-top box provided by the cable or satellite company for their digital services. The set-top box is the hardware item that the user associates with the IPTV service provider, but it is useless without a middleware solution. Set-top boxes need also be affordable and disposable. Since I can do any stream video from a hand facility, I want to show how the video to be streamed can be captured. Here I have two different capture video cards. This capture video card is an old card and is uh, to capture analog signal to be converted in a digital video. This card has a processor to do that job and convert the signal in video digit in digital video. This card this card receives digital signal. Doesn't have a processor to do the conversion because the video is already digital. Now I'm going to show how to do a video streaming over IP. I'll do this using my home wireless network. Uh, this demonstration shows the way how we get IPTV signal in our homes. Uh, there are several specialized software to do this. Uh, I'm going to use Video, video Land Capture Media Player. Media Menu, Stream, Add, select the file, click on Open, Option Stream, click on Extreme again, Next, I have to check Display locally, I have to select the format of the video, RTP, MPEG, Transport Stream, select the encoder type, MPEG 2, click and add. Here I have to enter the IP address of the other computer where I want to send the video. 912.168.1.64. Here there is a number, base port 5004. I need this port number to play the video in the other computer. Click and next. In this computer, I can use the same program to, to play the video, uh, in this case, VLC. Okay, I'm going to go to File Menu, Open Network, um, I have to click on RTP Stream. Here I have to select the protocol RTP and the mode Unicast. I'm going to put the port number that I got from the previous computer 5004 and click and open and open again and now stream and here there is the video Now I want to share some information about the IPTV market. Uh, last year highlighted a uh, strong growth in IPTV subscriber with over 2.5 million new IPTV subscriber added to the total, making over 38.5 million people using IPTV worldwide by the end of the last year. The growth is in line with broadband growth. Europe still remains the most established region for IPTV with almost 19 million subscribers, of which almost half are in France. China with Hong Kong and Macau had the most net additions last year, 421,000, ranking it second, with USA in third place with almost 
6.5 million subscribers. Earlier, I mentioned that the subsystem in IPTV responsible for encrypting content is known as the Digital Rights Management, DRM. But what exactly is DRM? DRM is a system of access authorization and copy protection used to control the distribution of digital media. DRM involves the control of physical access to information, identity validation, authentication, service authorization, and media protection, encryption. All the IPTV features were not covered in this video. Nowadays, it's easy for us to understand more about IPTV because it became a very popular service. Not only TV, the telcos are offering uh, HDTV voice and data in one package. Thank you for your attention.